नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द बायोलॉजी सेशन दिस इज मंजुनाथ जी एस फ्रॉम संकल सी डी कोर्स टुडे वील गोइंग टू टेक अप द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज ब्रीदिंग एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस सो फर्स्ट इन दिस वील टेक सम टर्म्स एंड लेटर वी कैन सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन what is breathing so it will say that breathing and respiration are not synonymous breathing with respiration erdu process breathing and respiration sometime we'll say that they are same no they are not what is it the similar or i can say that not synonymous so whenever we're going to use these terms right there is a definite what is it the meaning that is breathing it is just the movement of air movement of air inside and outside of the respiratory organs the respiratory organs movement of air inside and outside of the respiratory organ what are those respiratory organs organs which are involved in the exchange of gases and also they are going to provide mainly that is the oxygen into the body where at the cellular level that oxygen will be utilized to derive energy but respiratory organs these are the organs right which are concerned in their respiratory system right so organs which comes under respiratory system mainly we can say in human beings we can say that is a lungs in other organisms it will be going to vary in some it will be gills in some insects that is like cockroach trachea and in some what is it the book gills book lungs let us take that within a while breathing movement of air inside and outside the respiratory organs then what is respiration so respiration means it's a biochemical process it is a biochemical biochemical process where the organic compounds right biochemical process by which organic compounds organic compounds are oxidized why they should what is it the undergo oxidation oxidize to release energy or to liberate chemical energy to liberate chemical energy so here just an exchange process here we'll say just what is that an exchange process that is breathing just it is an exchange process whereas a respiration it is a biochemical process in other word we can say breathing is physical process whereas respiration is biochemical process where it is involved in the breathing no energy will be what is it the release no energy will be produced right so here in the respiration energy will be released so these are the two important what is it the difference next so what is that breathing exactly and how it takes place let us take this breathing includes two steps breathing which includes two steps that is inspiration and inspiration and expiration so these are the simple terms where we can say these are the two steps of what is it the breathing where intake of air here air enters the air enters the lungs whenever it enters the lungs 
it will going to what is it the carry the atmospheric air that is enters the lungs from atmospheric air from atmos atmosphere from atmosphere into the body so inspiration a little energy is required and we'll say it is active process inspiration is active process whereas expiration air leaves the lungs air air leaves the lungs olagade lungs olagade air odre chamber ge air odre adu inspiration from outside to from atmosphere to lungs ade vapas that is after delivering oxygen carbon dioxide will going to leave the lungs so air leaves the lungs that is we can say expiration that is we can say is it expiration air leaves the lungs here no energy is required ends will say it is a passive process illi e question no expect madabodu inspiration bandu active process and then expiration bandu passive process here energy is required to show this inspiration process here no energy is required next what is that in detail we'll, we'll take that what is that the respiration like how we discussed breathing same like that in which organic compounds are going to oxidized respiration right where organic compounds are is it oxidized so this is very important thing respiration is the oxidation of nutrients in all living cells to release energy why that energy is required for all for all biological work if these work within the body has to be occurred then the energy is required the energy released which will be always stored during respiration the energy which will be released because of the oxidation that energy which will be stored as atp that is a chemical energy right later in another chapter we'll going to discuss how this atp right <coughs> like mainly we'll say glucose glucose which will undergo oxidation to produce what is it, the pyruvate and then pyruvate it will going to utilize once again by utilizing the oxygen right like krebs cycle and glycolysis as we all studied where energy will be released so that is why here in the respiration process should keep it in mind that the energy which will be stored is what is it, the release will be stored as atp so it is breathing is just an physical process just the physical process whereas respiration is biochemical process let us take some respiratory organs so organs which are concerned with the respiration are called as respiratory organs and respiratory organs right organs which are concerned with respiration are called as respiratory organs and the system is called as respiratory system simple thing so what are those that is why we can write like breathing is not similar to the respiration right sometimes they may ask right so air general equation we all know that the glucose c6h12o6 right in the presence of oxygen right later we can balance that the oxygen which will be utilized what is that 6co what is that the co2 plus h2o where energy will be released so here the important thing you have to keep in mind just balance this 6 and 6o2 right so this is a general equation of the what is that respiration yes let us take some organs what is that the respiratory organ in some the respiratory organs are general body surface in some respiratory organs or general body surface so in lower organisms like sponges very important question this you may expect sponges right and you can say that cylindrates which are also called as cnidarians cylindrates and flat worms these organisms no what is it they, they are not with well developed respiratory organs just they are going to use the general body surface their body surface which will be used as what is that the respiratory organs general body surface and in some what is that like organs like earthworm earthworms we can say that the annelida and leech 
leech and amphibians right like adult frog in which we can see that is they are going to respire through skin right skin or we can say that moist cuticle moist cuticle that is body what is at the surface if they are going to respire through what is it the skin such type of respiration is called as a cutaneous respiration using skin respiration to so that that is cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration so again if they are going to use what is it the tracheal tubes or you can say that the trachea you can say that trachea right so that is the tracheal tracheal tubes tracheal tubes which will be used by the insects like cockroach and then centipedes centipedes and millipedes right which will be going to use the what is that trachea that is tracheal system where the spiracles will be what is that which will be present a minute pores which will be present on the lateral body wall here the minute the pores which will be present on the lateral body surface where that which will going to help is that mainly the exchange of in the exchange of gases directly exchange of gases directly what is that through from the atmosphere here there is a spiracle small opening that opens into a tracheary tubule and these trachea which opens into what small what is it the tubules which are called as tracheoles this is called as spiracle which will going to resemble the nostrils of the higher organism like as like in case of us what we have nostrils right so this the spiracles which resembles the nostrils and then this tube which is called as tracheary tube tracheary tube and these are called as tracheoles that is we can say primary secondary tertiary i can say that the tracheoles right and these directly from what is it the organs where they're going to take carbon dioxide and going to release oxygen here in some organism like we can say that the <coughs> insects right where no what is it the uh, directly from the blood or you can say where no what is it the rbc will be there that is what we can say hemolymph 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 from the hemolymph carbon dioxide will be what is it the enters the tubules and leaves out of the body right whereas the carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide when it leaves out of the body does it oxygen will move into the what is that hemolymph this is how it will going to get exchange in case of insects insect centipedes millipedes ali trachea tracheary system anta karithivi and next in some gills right tracheary system in some gills they are going to use if the gills will be used for the respiration such type of respiration is called as what is that the brachial respiration brachial respiration right you can say that the what is it like example all aquatic animals fishes and we can also say that the tadpole larva right in case of what is it the frog we can say tadpoles right larva of amphibians which are called as tadpole and prawns right prawns generally crustaceans so gills we can say here crustaceans right in case of arthropods right prawn which will going to use what is it the gills so we can get that questions and lungs in some lungs if lungs used what is it the generally that is called as pulmonary respiration lungs we all know that the higher animals most vertebrates are the example such type of respiration is called as pulmonary respiration what is that pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration so if skin use that is called as cutaneous respiration if skin use for what is it the respiration that is cutaneous respiration anta karithivi ಹಾಗೆ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕಿಯಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಾಂಕಿಯಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕಿಯಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಪಲ್ಮನರಿ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಐಯರ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ರೆಪ್ಟೈಲ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್
cardiads in which we can say higher animals reptiles birds and mammals that there will be pulmonary respiration reptiles birds and mammals which you are going to show what is that pulmonary respiration next we can take a what is the exact uh, processes which will be there in the respiration there are four basic processes this is also important four basic processes which takes place what is that during respiration see we can say that the breathing and respiration are not what is that, the same processes but respiration which includes four basic processes of respiration respiration which includes breathing respiration the first step we can say respiration first step of the respiration is called as our first process among those four basic process that is breathing breathing we can also say that pulmonary ventilation pulmonary ventilation yenagutte just exchange agodrinda adana ventilation into the chamber and out of the chamber exchange agutte that is what we can say exchange of air between exchange of air between the atmosphere and what is that the respiratory organs that is lungs exchange of air between between atmosphere right and the lungs between the atmosphere and lungs so that is the <coughs> first basic process in the respiration and next is that external respiration so what is that external respiration when air enters the lungs right that is the the minute tiny what is it the sac like structures which are called that is alveoli that is the end point where what is it the gases reached within the lung surface so there the exchange of gases between the lungs and the blood right from the alveoli exchange of gases between the lungs and the blood right so how we can say here see there will be a minute what is that the air what is that the sacs generally from there there are many what is that the alveolar sacs we can write like this right with uh, we can say that there is called as alveoli right so alveoli from where that is they are richly supplied with the blood capillaries just i will show like this richly supplied with and oxygen enter into the capillary that is alveolar capillaries right and then carbon dioxide which enters into the which enters into the alveoli or you can say alveolar sac and then from that it will going to follow the path so exchange of gases between the lung and the blood in the lung we can say we can also say that alveoli from the alveoli and blood from the alveoli to the blood and from the blood to the alveoli that is called as external that is called as external respiration that is called as external respiration and the third step we can say third process internal respiration where in between we can say the transport of gases which is going to occur transport of gases which takes place that is both oxygen and carbon dioxide it it follow a pathway we can take that later and the next one is that internal respiration right internal respiration so internal respiration after what is it the blood through which the that is the through blood these respiratory gases which are going to transport they are going to get exchange from that is exchange of gases exchange of gases between the blood mainly rbcs between the blood and body cells between the blood and body cells this is very very important blood with the body cells not to exchange other than a internal respiration and the last one cellular respiration clean out the energy release out of the keep it in mind among those four actually we'll say that the five including this but four basic process we can take that steps in the respiration later so cellular respiration where that once that 
the gases those what is it the gas gases which enter that we can say that we mainly we can say oxygen which enters the cell where that will undergo which helps in the oxidation process the oxygen oxygen which helps in the oxidation process so that is what we can say oxidation of respiratory substrate in the digestion we have studied that that we can say that almost all the monomers which will be absorbed those what is that the monomers which will going to what is that the takes place that is oxidation of respiratory substrates we can say from those substrate energy will be released so cellular respiration which takes place inside the cell so these are the basic things and finally we can take the human respiratory system so human respiratory system in this it is mainly divided into two what is it, the major parts which includes a two major parts one is respiratory tract and respiratory organ so here pathway is very important human respiratory system human respiratory system which is divided into two major components two major components idr erad component ide we can study under those headings yeah the first one is a respiratory tract respiratory tract includes what is it a pathway that is a passage right respiratory tract or we can also say that respiratory what is that passage right passage and the second one which includes a respiratory organ respiratory organs here we can say mainly it includes lungs mainly it includes lungs <coughs> now just will give the pathway right so one very important question they may ask that what is the the select the correct pathway anta kelthare so pathway whenever we'll going to study about that you should keep it in mind from which organ it will going to start and where it ends right so let me write that we have one question before that we should understand that from where to where it will going to move let me write that if you want you can what is it the write this like this external nostril we'll say that the where we can also say that the nostril external nostril that opens into the nasal chamber or nasal what is it the cavity we can say nasal chamber chamber to the nasopharynx naso pharynx is very very important naso pharynx right and here through the internal nostril we can say that the internal nostril or you can say that the internal nares nares this is very important external nostril to the nasal chamber nasal chamber to the naso pharynx naso pharynx to the what is it the through pharynx it will going to enter into the that is through pharynx we know that pharynx is a common passage for both food and air same like it through pharynx it enters the larynx and larynx is the anterior part of the trachea and from larynx it enters into the trachea then from trachea where it will going to enter into the where trachea divides into bronchi right and left what is it the bronchi so we can say right we can write here primary bronchi left and right primary bronchi same like that left and right what is it the secondary bronchi and third tertiary bronchi so primary bronchi secondary bronchi and you can say that the tertiary bronchi and tertiary bronchi where it is going to give rise to bronchioles right so bronchioles bronchioles we can say in that the terminal bronchioles which are called as respiratory bronchioles you know terminal bronchioles right which are also called as respiratory bronchioles which includes that is finally the last part right respiratory bronchioles where exactly the exchange occurs from the respiratory bronchioles up to respiratory bronchioles i can say terminal end of the terminal bronchioles which are called as terminal end of the terminal bronchioles which are called as what is it the respiratory bronchioles from the respiratory bronchioles through the alveolar duct alveolar duct it enters into the alveolar sac right many alveolus that is the alveolar sac we can say here 
alveolar sac that is alveolus many many can the kartive alveoli so if what is it they includes more number that is alveoli so this alveolar sac and throughout that end we can say alveoli so this is the pathway we can expect the one question from this right so practice this the pathway and try to remember which are the different what is it the function and we know that generally in the internal nares what is it it is lined by a small hairs right and also what is it the covered by the mucosal epithelium to trap the dust dust particles that is in the internal nares right so that is a, as soon as nostril which enters into a cavity and the cavity which is lined by what is it the where we can say that <coughs> the vestibular part so that is not required the nasal chamber in the nasal chamber the anterior part actually that is the first part of the nasal chamber right that is the vestibular region so not required just i will mention that that is in the nasal chamber because we may what is it, expect one question here nasal chamber right where we can say that is the small hairs lined by small hairs and you can say mucous membrane what is the role of these and the mucous membrane right generally conditioning of air and that is in all regions only that is in the nasal chamber only the conditioning of air occurs right henga nange na ulagade tholakagala dust particles remove agbeku and that should bring that to the body temperature conditioning of atmospheric air before entering into the lungs then only it can get exchange then it will so hairs and mucous membrane mainly which helps in filtration that is which helps in filtration of that filtration of air and we can say that there some oil glands will be there they will going to the mainly to involved in trap the what is it dust particles along with the mucous membrane and in the respiratory part what is it this is also lined by the mucous membrane there are also the mucus which will going to produce and finally one part here which includes olfactory part olfactory part which is what is it the line by olfactory epithelium which helps in sensing the smell that is what we can say odor sensing the smell next we'll take some questions right so what exactly the respiratory organs in different different what are the animals so what is it the prawns respires with prawns respires with right so this is the very important chapter we'll get the many questions here with related to the respiratory organs so prawns respire so prawns we can say crustacea we have mentioned that in crustacea what is that gills are the respiratory organs and in insects in insects we can say that is what trachea elladu velva so crustacea that is in prawn gills and in insects that is trachea right and moist skin that which will be used by what is that the earthworm right earthworm so moist skin which will be used and gills we can say most of the fishes and simple diffusion that is by means of how it will going to transfer it is not the organ organ through which by means that is of simple diffusion the process so answer for that the first one the first question here we can say that the gills and here we can say that the trachea so what is the answer that is b is the answer for first question gills and trachea which will be used in prawns and cockroach respectively as a respiratory organ so larynx we mentioned that that is the anterior part right the modi modified what is it the portion right whenever we're going to say that the this structure if we're going to write so this is what we can say modified modified portion of the what is it the trachea so trachea which is mainly made up of incomplete what is that c shaped cartilaginous ring to prevent from collapsing mainly it prevents right when whenever there won't be air so it prevents from collapsing it 
prevents from what is that the collapsing so this are the what is that iodine cartilage yes or you can say that iodine cartilage right which are c shaped incomplete c shaped or you can say c shaped incomplete ring like structures this is very very important when you are going to touch that in the neck region you can feel that there is the what is it the cartilaginous ring these are present completely in the ventral region in the ventral complete irutte adhe dorsal right that is towards the neck that is back side where the cervical what is it the vertebrae will be there that side dorsally these are incomplete idu ondu nen bitko bekagiru vichara so that is dorsally right cartilaginous rings are incomplete incomplete so idu nen bitko next so larynx is a modified portion of that is what is that trachea larynx is a modified portion of trachea and pharynx we know that it is a common passage it is a common passage for both what is that food and air we discussed about this and bronchus singular where trachea which we going to divide so let me mention one very important note here trachea which will going to extend up to the what is it the uh, thoracic region right you can say that the mid thoracic region where it will going to divide into what is it the primary bronchus singular bronchus to bronchi plural so here where exactly it will going to divide see this these are both or primary primary bronchi this is a right bronchi and this one is a left what is it right and left bronchi right bronchus left bronchus where exactly these structures will be formed exactly right if you going to count from the what is it the dorsal side fifth at the level of fifth thoracic vertebra a fifth thoracic vertebra level that is we can say this is very important at the level of at the level of fifth thoracic vertebra trachea divides into right and left bronchi note note thumba important right at the level of fifth thoracic vertebra trachea divides into right and left right and left what is that bronchi that is bronchus right bronchus left bronchus clear is there next lungs these are the respiratory organs right next in crustaceans that is what we mentioned right crustacean means we can say mainly which includes prawns and whenever this already we have discussed that in prawns the exchange when when exactly the the air used to get exchanged with the help of gills right and here some two what is the difference i'll give that is in case of the arthropoda right we'll get some questions arthropoda arthropoda dali mainly we studied that insect one class hage that is the <coughs> crustaceans right and then along with that the arachnida right so like that insects insects ali nen pitkuli that is trachea right that is in insects trachea so idrally that is mainly we can say that terrestrial this is very very important terrestrial terrestrial insects ali nagirutte trachea that is tracheary what is that tracheal respiration anta karithive tracheal respiration includes trachea trachea right that is tracheal respiration okay okay aquatic insects right aquatic insects and the other there you should keep in mind gills gills right that is bran- branchial respiration illi prawn and uh, aquatic insects we can write the prawn prawn and uh, crayfish prawn and crayfish so these are which will be what is it the 
विद गिल्स एज अ रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन एंड वन मोर दैट इज वी कैन से दैट स्कॉर्पियोन एंड स्पाइडर स्कॉर्पियोन एंड वट इज द स्पाइडर वेयर वी कैन से दैट द book lungs because of their appearance right so we can say ridges which will be there in the what is it, the the books right we'll say that like that there will be the appearance hence right which will be called as book lungs because of their appearance and in case of limulus we all know that what is limulus that is living fossil living what is it, the fossil right which can also call it as living what is it, the fossil right which can also call it as generally king crab king crab so this king crab which will be with the respiratory structure called as book gills book gills book gills so this is what you have to keep it in mind so in this we may expect a question so here the crustacean you can say that the aquatic insects mainly which includes prawn and crayfish in that we can see gills so answer for the third question is gills and book lungs book lungs will be there in arachnida that is scorpion and spider right and book gills will be there in limulus limulus right living fossil next which is the correct sequence of passage right the correct sequence of passages in man so what is that exactly the passages in man we can say respiratory passage so already in the previous screen we studied where first one is external nostril so in the b option we have the first the starting one that is external nostril that opens into what is it, the nasal chamber that is a nasal passage right and internal nostril right here better to have nasal chamber right chamber through internal what is it, the nostril which opens into the pharynx and pharynx to the larynx larynx is a modified part of trachea right we know that that larynx generally as we have studied the trachea which will be there pharynx which opens that into the if you consider that is the food pipe and there we can say this is the glottis and glottis there we have mentioned it is covered by epiglottis while studying digestion and absorption we studied that a flap like right structure cartilaginous structure that is what is that epiglottis which prevents the entry of food into the what is that wind pipe which is also called as which is also called as trachea trachea right so trachea and then that opens divides into what is it, the right and left bronchi and then many what is the primary secondary tertiary bron bronchi right on both side and then bronchioles and finally that is alveoli so answer for that fourth question the correct sequence right in man that is what is it answer is b <coughs> now this is what like this we can expect questions so be thorough with so what is respiratory system body is breathing system body is breathing system is called as respiratory system so in this the body is breathing system right which includes i already mentioned two components one is a respiratory passage respiratory tract and respiratory organ right so that is in detail we can discuss while studying question so respiratory system but the tract means mainly which moves air into the into and out of the body that is what we are going to use which helps in using what is it, the oxygen and eliminating carbon dioxide this system helps in using oxygen and eliminating carbon dioxide olagade oxygen tholodike help madutte hage eliminating carbon dioxide that is why generally the carbon dioxide which is produced right as a waste in the digestion digestion and absorption we studied that um, during metabolism of metabolism of what carbohydrates and fats which leads to the formation of what is that Car carbon dioxide that is what the oxidation of carbohydrates and fats 
leads to the formation of carbon dioxide so that will be eliminated out through this what is it the breathing system so here uh, many different organs include from nose nose to the what is it we can say that the <coughs> pharynx region and then later it opens into the what is it, lungs through trachea and all those the pathway what we have mentioned so respiratory system body's breathing system yes we can consider this body's system of nerves that is nervous system neural control and regulation right so mainly by nervous system and then the body's food processing system that is digestive system food processing system called as digestive system and body's blood transporting system that is called as circulatory circulatory system right so answer for that is first one right respiratory system next air can enter the body and travel air can enter the body and travel to the lungs how it will going to enter from the pathway if you going to say that what is that there are two openings which can what is that the helps in taking mainly we will going to use nose and then we will use mouth these are the openings right air enters through which the air enters right some sometime generally will say majority of the what is it the oxygen or you can say that air which will be taken in that travels through the nose right better to breathe through nose because where the filtration process will used to takes place that oxygen which will be taken in which will going to reach finally to the what is it the lungs and then lungs to the blood stream and blood stream to the body cells right so nose and mouth through nose and mouth it will going to reach the lungs through esophagus and gullet so gullet is actually what is that an opening or aperture idr lo odidivu generally digestion chapter lo mention maadidhi na idana right so an aperture that opens into the food pipe alva esophagus ge hogutte esophagus which is also called as food pipe food pipe so through wind pipe directly how come it enters the wind pipe trachea that in case of critical condition they will going to what is it the give what is it the liquid through the esophagus and what is it the oxygen through the what is it artificial ventilation so here wind pipe directly we can't what is it the transport the gases through wind pipe and the pores wrong through nose and nervous system wrong so what is the answer for that that is through mouth and nose right we can take <coughs> air into the lungs what is the purpose of little air inside the nose already we have mentioned that the little air which is present inside the nose that is what we can say that the chamber that is a vestibular region helps in the filtration of air that helps in the filtration of air keep it in mind nasal chamber the role of nasal chamber why it has to pass through that nasal chamber or nasal cavity in the kelidre mainly for what is that conditioning of air and the very important point in an agatha generally filter agutte <coughs> where it will going to reduce the if if air temperature is very high it reduces to the body temperature if it is very less it will be increased to the body temperature so that is through what is it, the little air inside the nose through the mouth and nose through the esophagus and gullet is that sorry is the option given is wrong just will take right so we'll make it correct right options are wrong maybe sometime we can say that the simply will i'll mention to fight disease and along with that what you can say that the uh, no significance no significance right and then one more we can say that the uh, mainly to keep what is that the dust out of the lungs to keep dust out of the lungs out of the lungs and one more the mainly to i can say that none of the above so 
sorry for that wrong options right so what is that mainly filtration to keep dust out of the lungs to keep dust out of the lungs so purpose of little air mainly for the filtration purpose right so nasal chamber with three uh, what is that, the parts one is a vestibular right so vestibular part right other one is respiratory part you can say that the respiratory part and the, the third one is olfactory part olfactory part so these are the three parts of the nasal chamber so next question what is the another name of windpipe just now we discussed so windpipe right where we can say that the from the nostril we are going to receive this is what the windpipe so this windpipe just now we discussed that is lined by cartilaginous ring <coughs> windpipe is also called as trachea right so lungs are the respiratory organs right and then larynx which is called as is that the sound box right and esophagus which is called as food pipe which is called as food pipe right next <laughs> what happens to the wind pipe or trachea before reaches the lungs so this is what the trachea assume this this which will going to enter into up to the i mentioned that the level of fifth thoracic what is the vertebra there are 12 thoracic vertebra right so among those 12 thoracic vertebra at the level of fifth thoracic vertebra right so this will going to divide this will going to divide so as and when it divides it forms a what primary right and left bronchus right and left bronchus so branches it branches into two direction that is what we can say right and left correct right next it branches into three directions wrong in what it vibrates and creates sound trachea on that is the function of larynx larynx in which the vocal cords are there the vocal cords they are going to vibrate and create sound it closed up so that no oxygen can escape that is mainly role of epiglottis right so so here answer for that in two directions or they can also give like primary right and left bronchus now so next question what important activity takes place in lungs you know the general like important activity and the so food is digested food is digested with the help of digestive system mainly where the completion of what is the digestion that is in the duodenum keep it in mind in the duodenum complete food will going to what is it get digested where it will be absorbed right that is digested in the duodenum it is completely what is it digest and absorption in the ileum very very important right we can say ileum where absorption completes where absorption completes so liquid waste is filtered from the blood that is mainly with the help of kidney including nephron right idana now next chapter study madana that is the excretory products and their elimination oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide so that is what the major function right trachea is exchanged for the larynx so answer for that is oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide that is what we can say it helps in the ventilation next it moves from the lungs into the blood stream through right that is the oxygen right which moves from the lungs into the blood stream through so lungs in the blood stream go by kadre that is before enter into the blood stream it moves through what and the kelta nerve fibers they are involved in the nervous system large artery in heart that is aorta aorta which helps in transportation of blood actually right like small blood vessels in the lungs so this is very very important we can say 
have already mentioned that from the smaller capillaries alveolar capillaries it will going to enter into the blood stream so that is what three is the answer a tube in the lungs called as jugular vein no <coughs> jugular vein which will going to order the <coughs> bring the uh, from the upper region it will going to bring deoxygenated blood to the heart <coughs> so answer for that is third one next when we breathe we inhale many gases including oxygen what happens to the gases that body can't use if body can't use what are we going to do like carbon dioxide we can't use this what are we going to do we are going to eliminate it that is what we can say exhal it will be exhaled so that is exhalation exhalation is also called as expiration generally we can say expiration is also called as exhalation same like that inspiration is also called as inspiration is also called as is that inhalation inhalation inspiration is also called as inhalation so the answer for that is the first one where we can say that when we breathe air into the lungs right into the lungs with oxygen when we breathe air with oxygen when we breathe air into the lungs with oxygen right so that will be called which will be called it as inhalation when we'll going to breathe out the air which is present there is a carbon dioxide which will be there in the what is that which will be mainly comes into the lungs from the body cells this is very important from the body cells so next they are changed into oxygen by the lungs no wrong they circulate through the body and are disposed of later no that is also wrong that is in case of mainly what is it, the waste which will be eliminated with the help of digestive system and also through the excretory system they are absorbed into the digestive system and used to create energy they can't be utilized they will, they will be eliminated like how unabsorbed undigested food will be eliminated same like that what is that the gases which won't or which can't be able to utilize they will be eliminated next which organ is made up of air carrying tubes so what exactly the air carrying tubes that is what that is the tract air carrying tubes right which will be present right mainly in the what is it the respiratory system somewhere we'll say bronchi bronchi right and then bronchioles right that is a left and right bronchi and then bronchioles right finally the terminal bronchiole terminal bronchiole and then respiratory bronchiole so all these together which will be called as carrying tubes <coughs> including trachea so that is where we'll say these are present in the respiratory system not in the brain right we can say that is the lungs will be with air carrying tubes right stomach wrong diaphragm that is also wrong diaphragm is the the muscular uh, membrane or sheath which will going to divide the body parts into what is it the upper what is it the thoracic cavity upper thoracic cavity in almost all the mammals we can say it is a character that is diaphragm right muscular what is it the sheath which will going to divide the upper thoracic cavity and lower abdominal cavity what is it abdominal cavity so this is one significance of the diaphragm next what body structure protects the lungs from outside harm so which are the structure which will going to what is that they provide that you can say that the lungs are situated in the anatomically air tight chamber this is very very important air tight chamber and the karithi bendre generally right the lungs which are situated within the air tight chamber yake andre that is covered by dorsally ventrally laterally and from the lower side so let us take that ventral side chest bagal nodadaga ventrally let us take ventrally it is covered by sternum okay and laterally ventro laterally it will extend up to the what is the side sides of the body right and that is laterally by ribs by ribs <coughs> okay 
and in which we can say that the generally ribs are attached with the sternum right ventrally right and then dorsally that is mainly vertebra vertebral column that is thoracic thoracic vertebrae right thoracic vertebrae which will going to support from the back and next from the lower side from the lower side that is diaphragm muscular diaphragm see so this is how it is protected what is it if consider this or the structure just for diagrammatic representation we want to mention here from this side the sternum and ribs right up to laterally it is extended and back side that is from the vertebral column back side from the vertebral column and lower side from the muscular diaphragm hence we will say that is anatomically air tight chamber so what is that ribs along with the sternum that we will say that the rib cage so that will going to prevent mainly <coughs> which is going to protect the body so rib cage next so here we can also say that the uh, which sometime if you going to what is it, the uh, met with an accident or we accidentally what is it, the fall off it may get what is it, the puncture right it won't so if you have seen that so many football players heg bit tarado generally that will going to rip cage protect the lungs right so that is completely rounds the the structures completely rounds the lungs okay next to go on living the body cells need food if you want to survive for long duration body cells need food water chemicals yes along with that the very important the crucial the component i can say that the crucial the requirement right is oxygen that is what if you going to provide this food you should derive energy right to derive energy to derive energy these food should undergo oxidation if there should be oxidation you should provide oxygen you should provide oxygen next <coughs> next question the percentage of hemoglobin in rbc the percentage of hemoglobin in rbc actually this will going to what is it, the discuss about very important the thing there will be heme group and then what is it, this is what mainly consisting of the porpyrol ring porpyrol ring and what is it, the porpyrol uh, pyrrol right along with that there will be a heme group right with what is it, the we can say that the por pyrrol right or you can say that the pyrrol right pyrrol ring right along with that we can also say that there will be amino group right amino group and other what is it the but most of these we can say that there won't be what is it the other organelles we know that that is that the e nucleated no nucleus so whenever we're going to say that no nucleated the complete cytoplasm is occupied by what is it the the hemoglobin so we can say 48% of the what is that percentage of hemoglobin which will be present seen in <coughs> rbcs so next next question so other element other what is that the components will be there in the hemoglobin like what you can say that the amino group and other structure but mainly the hemoglobin is the largest component in the rbc next mammalian lungs have an enormous number of minute alveoli that is alveoli which are also called as air sacs this is to allow what is that air sacs very important thing we know that the smaller what is that the air sacs which will be there they are going to increase the absorptive surface area so if increase the surface area increases the respiratory exchange of gases which is going to increase tremendously that is more the number of more number of alveoli more number of alveoli more what is that the surface area more the surface area we can say that more exchange of exchange of gases very very important more exchange of gases so what is that so generally these 
which will be help in what is it, the each lung which will be have more number of alveoli they are going to increase more surface area for diffusion of gases so that means it can fill more what is it volume of air and it can be get diffused that is exchanged easily so these are the characteristic feature of the respiratory organs should be thin elbow and it should moist and with more surface area and that helps in the what is it the diffusion again there should be respiratory pigment respiratory pigments so these are the characteristic feature of what is it the respiratory organs right next <coughs> breathing is controlled by so respiratory center we say respiratory rhythmic center so respiratory rhythmic center respiratory rhythmic center which is present that is medulla oblongata so medulla oblongata the structure which acts as a center for what is that autonomic reflex control of respiration which acts as a center for autonomic autonomic is that the reflex action for respiration autonomic reflex control or you can say that we do need to show action autonomic means it is not a voluntary it is involuntary right it is involuntary so it is a center for autonomic reflex control of respiration control of respiration that is you should keep it in mind so whenever these things will be going to maintain so this plays a major role we can say that the it is a vital center where it will going to provide more oxygen more oxygen and help us to survive so that is the medulla oblongata medulla oblongata and then next question right and one more here we can say there is pneumotoxic center pneumotoxic center that is pons viruli viruli pons pons viruli right so this is the the respiratory or the center where that will going to help us to mainly prevent the intake of was it pons viruli right help us to prevent the intake of toxic help us to prevent or you can say that whenever there will be atmospheric air atmospheric air with toxic with substances and the time it will going to sense it it will going to switch off it will going to switch off inspiration so this is very very important orgade external atmosphere alli namu ketta gaali bandaga nav sense martivi ga plastic burn madbekadre athwa some other the the condition where you are going to expose to the bad or you can say that the toxic air suddenly will going to switch up new inspiration will switch ra right so that is because of pons viruli so viruli is a pneumotoxic center these are the main what is it the centers which help to what is it the so respiration right next which of the following which of the following structural features best differentiated differentiates the trachea from bronchi how can you say that this structure is trachea and this particular structure is bronchi how can you does it differentiate that is the trachea from bronchi they are asking so here generally in this case what is it the smooth muscles won't be there when the bronchi which will be there in in both the cases we'll see c shaped rings right in both the cases we'll see what is it, the c shaped cartilage right but whereas <coughs> the exactly these c shaped cartilage mainly seen in trachea sorry we can say that there will be cartilaginous ring right in what is it the bronchi in bronchi the shape of the cartilage we can say in bronchi 
mainly the plate of irregular shaped hyaline cartilage there will be plate of irregular shape irregular shape hyaline cartilage see in both we can see hyaline cartilage sorry but there is no c shape in the bronchi no c shaped structure no c shaped structure so there will be plate of irregular shape hyaline cartilage right hyaline cartilage and in the trachea exactly c shape i have already mentioned that ventrally they are present dorsally they are absent dorsal ventrally they will going to lie in the trachea but dorsally they are incomplete here in this region it won't be present it won't be like this it won't be like this right keep it in mind only one what is it side ventral side incomplete dorsally okay c shape structure seen in trachea but here no c shape in bronchi no c shaped what is the hyaline cartilage in bronchi c shape present seen in trachea next crescent shape antanu heltivu crescent that is half moon shape antadru helbodu but better to say c shape intercostal muscles what are those intercostal muscles whenever we will going to say that the what is it this sternum right so in this the sternum the the breast bone which will be there to which these ribs are attached right ventrally and these ribs are also connected these ribs are also what is it the they connected both externally and what is it the internally internally i can show that like this both externally and internally these muscles which are called as in between the ribs right so internally and externally which are called as intercostal muscles so these the muscles which connects or which will going to attach these ribs to maintain the coordination simultaneously that is we can say intercostal muscles intercostal muscles means intercostal muscles means in between in between the ribs so these muscles inter in between costal muscles these are the what is it the muscles which associated with the ribs so these intercostal muscles found a space between what is it the <coughs> we can say that the generally will say a space between and tell us between the ribs right so these are the muscles right internally also they are present and externally also they are present on the ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಪಾಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದು ಶೀಟ್ ಇಡಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದು ಶೀಟ್ ಇಡಿ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ನೋಡ್ತೀರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಬೋತ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲಿ ದಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಅದು ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲಿ ಇದ್ದರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಕಾಸ್ಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಕಾಸ್ಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ರಿಬ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ so there are two types external and internal intercostal muscles both which are with 11 pairs so 11 pairs what is it, the of muscles are there 11 pairs of muscles right and one more thing the ribs are what is it, the ribs which are present they are what is it 12 pairs very very important they are 12 pairs but in between that is you can say that 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like that. In between, you can put the mark like this. Just I'll show that. This is assume that this is outside external, and yellow which shows internal. Right now, like that. This is a one. We are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. in the 10 there is a one and in between you can say that the 12 if you going to mark that is the 11 pairs right so this is ribs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so these ribs which will be there and that in between we can say that the 12 pairs we can get 1 2 3 
ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் செவன் எயிட் நைன் டென் லெவன் ஸோ இன் பிட்வீன் தட் வி கேன் சி லெவன் பேர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ட்ருகாஸ்டல் மசல்ஸ் போத் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் இன்ட்ருகாஸ்டல் காஸ்டல் மசல்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ லெவன் பேர்ஸ் இன்டர்னல் இன்ட்ருகாஸ்டல் மசல்ஸ் தே ஆர் ப்ரெசன்ட் ப்ரெசட் இன் பிட்வீன் தி ரிப்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபவுண்ட் அசோசியேட்டட் வித் ரிப்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் asthma is caused by asthma is mainly because of the what is that the infection in bronchi and trachea we can say that the bronchi and what is that the trachea upper respiratory trachea upper respiratory structures which will be inflamed because of what is that the infection where no proper contraction and relaxation will be there that leads to what is that spasm spasm means the contraction what is that the contraction of bronchial muscles that is what is that the asthma where person can't be able to breathe and wheezing will be there so that is the symptom of <coughs> asthma next which of the following prevents the foot from going into trachea so that is all already we have discussed the glottis is the glottis is the opening which what is that the opens into the trachea and there there is a what is that the papilla called as epiglottis epiglottis prevent the entry of food from going into the trachea that is wind pipe keep it in mind wind pipe they won't ask which prevents what is that the food from going into what is that the food pipe they won't ask esophagus is also if they want to ask that is a wrong question right next no structure will going to prevent the entry of food into the esophagus but it prevents entry of food into the trachea next which of the following what is it the from the most what is it the form the most stable product if we can say that these are the gases which will going to show more stable see like this hemoglobin which shows more affinity towards a carbon dioxide right the affinity in terms of what is it, these respiratory carbon monoxide that is carbon monoxide poisoning condition most stable more affinity and once it will going to form when hemoglobin combines with the carbon monoxide it forms carboxy hemoglobin carboxy hemoglobin right the most stable form when it combines with carbon monoxide right it shows more affinity carbon monoxide than the what is it the carbon right so carbon towards a carbon monoxide it shows more affinity to the hemoglobin and then carbon monoxide is more than the carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is more than the oxygen hence the concentration of oxygen right the concentration gradient of oxygen should be very high if it has to get exchange right so principle behind exchange of what is it the gases mainly that is partial pressure partial pressure of those gases right and you can also say that the concentration gradient and there are the factors which mainly will going to affect the the exchange that is solubility and one more you can say that the thickness of the respiratory membrane or you can say that the the diffusion membrane and the partial pressure so these which will going to say that and also including that the surface area all these will going to what is it the helps in the diffusion process of the gases so more stable product will be formed with hemoglobin that is along with the carbon monoxide and the next the enzyme that increases the reaction rate enzyme that increases the reaction rate between carbon monoxide and what is it the water in red blood cell this is very very important where as we all know that during the transportation of these gases mainly during the carbon dioxide right we know that the carbon dioxide is transported in three forms in three forms one is as carbonic acid as carbonic acid other one is as bicarbonate ion or the bicarbonate ion and along with carbamino hemoglobin in the form of carbamino hemoglobin carbamino hemoglobin carbamino hemoglobin means you should keep it in mind when hemoglobin combines with amino group when hemoglobin combines with amino group right amino group of the what is it the 
<coughs> RBC, right? So here you should keep it in mind. Carbamino hemoglobin that is 22 to 25 percent, which will be transported. Whereas bicarbonate in the form of bicarbonate ion with the bicarbonate 70 percent, and here it will be off of in the in the form of carbonic acid that is in the dissolved plasma that is 7 percent. So here the answer is the enzyme. Here we can say that the carbon dioxide and water combines is that to produce is that car bicarbonate ion and then it will going to form HCO3 minus plus H plus. So HCO3 minus H plus, which what is it? The combines right. Whenever we are going to say this is the reversible reaction, in both way it can be takes place. Here, this is from tissue level to the tissue level to the towards the lung, right? In the blood, which is going to transport mainly with the help of strongest enzyme called as carbonic anhydrase. Carbonic anhydrase, which is going to what is it? The catalyzes this reaction. So that is carbonic anhydrase. So answer for that is that. The 20th is A. So, further we can continue in the next class.